And opportunity is something I have a lot of experience in. Whom one is born to somewhat defines a person. And I've been given unfair advantage that most do not have. While I was not born to a vast amount of early money, I was given free reign on my own thoughts. Being able to think, being able to shape my own opinions, it gave me the mental freedom that I have today. My father, he is um, an Islamic intellectual, which means that he must stay open to new ideas. And that sort of openness was passed on to me. Um, I have grown up and continue to in an environment surrounded by scholars and philosophers of Islam. Just by walking down a staircase, I can I find an entire bookshelves full of hundreds of books at my and they're all at my fingertips. And any questions I could have about my own faith, I could simply ask my dad. Recently, over my spring break, I visited a lecture discussing the Arab Spring, which is the revolutions and the results of the mil of many Middle Eastern countries. And earlier, I visited an event hosted by my father and his colleagues, featuring John Carney, who will, be, will most likely be our next governor. And during the summer, I went to the International Institute of Islamic Thought to listen to a seminar on the Constitution of Medina. When our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, migrated from Mecca to Medina, it was at the invitation of many tribes there. The tribes had religious and racial differences that never got settled, regardless of, their, of warring constantly. They needed a leader who could bring peace and stability to the area. The Prophet, peace be upon him, signed a contract with them. And which served as the constitution of the new state with, with that he formed in Medina. According to this constitution, all people of all races and religions had equal rights and duties to the state that, prophet, that the prophet ruled uh, by consultation. It was a great conference and it told me that Islam started as a democracy where everyone was treated equally, much like the US, at least in principle. But these were just events in the country. I have also been to Muslim countries all around the world Turkey and Morocco are instances for my dad's conferences. I was able to visit amazing mosques and religious wonders, including Hagia Sophia, which I'm sure you guys all know. I'm not here to boast, but I am. I can say I'm lucky to have all these opportunities, and, and so well are you. The fact that we're all here today in this country shows how gifted we are. Because we're here in America, where the only thing that, that our differences are, are the excuses not to enjoy each other's culture and religions and to share our own peace. We are born in this generation, in this country, in this state that gives us so many opportunities to experience the diversity around us. Going to school, you can really see diversity. And with what I was taught, I, would cho I chose to embrace other cultures instead of pushing them away. And that's what we should all do. America allows us the freedom of religion that we deserve and everyone takes advantage of it, choosing their own faith, like all of us. But the privilege of diversity of race and religion is something that we see every day. And we should accept that and take advantage of that by, by engaging in, in activities like this. But other than, than the freedom of religion, the First Amendment grants us the freedom of speech. This, in a way, expands our freedom of religion. Scholars produce new ways of thinking, and often new is not received well. My father is able to say new ideal, ideas that ex express today's culture and Islamic thought, and I and many others are able to benefit from that ability. The United States is an amazing country that allows people like my dad to convey ideas and for people like me to gain from it. It allows us to live freely together under the same constitution and laws. We're able to not only live and think as we please, but do it together with others. Overall, for everyone, America is a land of opportunity. Thank you.